OK, so let's say I want to solve cosine of x plus 60 degrees is equal to sine x between 0 and 360. Now, because there's, there is a sine and cosine there, you might be initially thinking, right, I could use a trigonometric identity. But actually, what I want to use here is our understanding of sine x. Can we write sine x in terms of cosine? So that I've got cosine of something is equal to cosine of something else. Now, sine x, if you think about cosine first, right, how do you get to cosine, or how do you get from cosine, sorry, to sine? Now, cosine to sine would require a 90 degree shift to the right. So, this would mean replacing the x with x minus 90. So, cosine of x minus 90 is sine of x. So you can replace the sine x in the problem with cosine of x minus 90. Now, if you have cosine of something is equal to cosine of something else, then surely the two somethings must be the same. So x plus 60 must be equal to x minus 90. But the problem here is that if you subtract an x from both sides, then suddenly you've got 60 is equal to minus 90, which is clearly wrong. Okay? So there's no solution from that. However, we do know that cosine of minus x is the same as cosine of x. So actually, if I replace x minus 90 with minus x plus 90, then that will give me an equation I can solve. So, I can add the x to both sides, I can subtract the 60 from both sides, and so I do have a solution of x is equal to 15 degrees. Okay, so x equals 15 does solve the problem. However, it's not the only solution between 0 and 360. Now, the reason for this is that regardless of, um, you know, regardless of what the problem is with sine x and cos x, uh, or these translations, if I had um, two curves, so here's one, okay, and then I had a translated one, like so, I'm only ever going to get two solutions, two crossings, between 0 and 360. OK. Now, because these are the same uh, shaped curve, okay, no transformation has occurred, this position and this position must be 180 degrees apart because they're going to match each other twice every 360 perfectly. So this distance must be 180 degrees. So if one of the solutions is at 15 degrees, the other solution must be 180 degrees away. So the second solution is 195 degrees. And they are the two solutions that I would be expecting between 0 and 360. Now, of course, you could add another 180 to that, but you'll go beyond the 360 mark. Okay? So they are the only solutions to the original problem.